Hey guys, it's Gabby and today I'm going to be bringing you the first of many videos throughout the month of November as well as announcing and starting a very exciting little mini series type thing that I'm going to be doing on my channel throughout this month. So for those of you that follow me on any social media, you probably know that I'm going to be seeing Hamilton in Chicago on my 16th birthday, Tuesday, November 29th. And I'm so, so excited about this, so I figured to share my excitement with you as well as celebrate this amazing, amazing event that's going to be happening, I decided to do this little thing called Hamilvember in which I will be uploading a Hamilton-related video every Tuesday in the month of November. And I would love for you guys to comment below suggestions of videos that you would like to see me do, and you can comment them down below in the description for this video, or you can tag me in any of your ideas on any of my social media, and I will leave a link to those down below. That being said, I'm very, very excited to be bringing this first video to you guys, and overall, just this whole little thing that I'm going to be doing, because I've absolutely fallen in love with Hamilton over this past year, and I think it's going to be a really great way to celebrate, especially because Hamilton is so beloved on um, Booktube. Enough of the rambling, let's get started with this first video. So for those of you who are big Hamilton fans, you probably know that there is one girl who is basically the queen of Hamilton on YouTube, and her name is Jonna from Jonna's Almost Famous. I absolutely love watching all of her Hamilton related videos, and she's just a sweet, nice girl, and she made this sort of tag-like video thing that she called Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy, in which she took famous threesomes and ranked them as each of the Schuyler sisters. And so I decided to take this video and put my own little spin on it using YA fictional threesomes. And this is a tag that I really liked because you can pretty much take any of your own favorite threesomes and just rank them as the Schuyler sisters. You don't have to use anybody's specific character choices that they use. If you want to copy this video and make your own version of this, you can use your own threesomes and I think that's something that's really cool about it is that you don't have to stay consistent with, you know, the threesomes that you're using throughout this video. But before I get started, I want to mention that I'll be linking John's original video down below if you want to go and watch that, which I definitely recommend you do. Now that I've sort of gotten all this introductory like stuff out of the way, let's get started with the tag. <laughs> in this tag is probably the most famous threesome in YA, and that is Harry, Ron, and Hermione from the Harry Potter world. And right away, I have to say that Ron is definitely Eliza. He is just a really lovable character, and I feel like that anybody who has read Harry Potter cannot say that they hate Ron Weasley. I just don't think it's possible. So I definitely think that he's an Eliza-type character. And Hermione is definitely, definitely, definitely Angelica. I think she just embodies all those qualities and is a perfect representation of Angelica and what she is. That means that Harry is the Aunt Peggy, which really doesn't make a lot of sense because he is the main character and the protagonist of this world. But in a way, I also think that it does make sense because Ron and Hermione end up together in the end, and I think that their relationship is something that Harry's never going to be able, you know, to be a part of in that same way or feel in that same way, and so that makes him a little bit of a third wheel. So I actually think that that kind of fits. Moving on to the next threesome, we have James, Sirius, and Lupin, also from the Harry Potter world, and more like the first generation of Harry Potter characters that are, that were introduced to that attend Hogwarts. So for this, I have to say right off the bat, Sirius is definitely our Eliza. I think he's such a lovable character once you get to know him, and he's personally my favorite character out of the three, and so I think for me he has to be the Eliza. And then as for James and Lupin, who would be the Angelica, I think it's a bit of a toss-up, but I have to say that James is probably Angelica because the relationship that him and Sirius have is very much like Eliza and Angelica, so I think that that sort of fits. And then Lupin is the Aunt Peggy because I feel like he'd be a third wheel in their relationship a little bit. Now moving on to something a little bit easier, the next threesome that we have is Katniss, Peeta, and Gale from the Hunger Games series. Very simply going to lay this out for you, Katniss is Angelica, Peeta is Eliza, and Gale is Aunt Peggy. No questions asked. Moving on. Next threesome that we have is Clary, Simon, and Jace from the Mortal Instruments series. Simon is definitely our Eliza. I feel like he's a very lovable character and a very just like warm character and I feel like he has to be most likely everyone's favorite character from the Mortal Instruments series because he's just so lovable. I need a Simon in my life guys. I, I need it. I need it bad. So he definitely has to be the Eliza, and then I think Clary has to be Angelica because of the relationship and the thing that they have in terms of this friendship and the fact that they have this very brotherly, sisterly relationship as Eliza and Angelica have that very sisterly relationship. And then Jace is the Aunt Peggy, 
because he's never going to, you know, understand or be a part of that friendship that Clary and Simon have. And he was actually a little bit jealous of it in those first few books, so I think that a little bit fits his character in terms of their pairings in the first few books. Sticking with Cassandra Clare and her characters, the next set of characters that we have is Will, Jem, and Tessa from The Infernal Devices. Tessa is definitely our Eliza. I feel like she's such a loving, warming, and supportive character, and she also just really, I feel like, fits Eliza and her character and who she is, and I think that also, like Eliza, she has a little bit of a dark side and she's a little bit underestimated, but she definitely comes to prove herself as a character and is very feisty and very much as a warrior. As for Will and Jem, who would be the Angelica is a little bit of a toss-up, and I think this is probably the hardest one out of all of them, but... I think that I'm going to say that Will is our Angelica and Jem is our Peggy, just for whatever reason, and I could change my mind on that, and I, maybe I will, I don't know. I think it's a toss-up, I really can't choose, so I'd love for you guys to comment down below. Who do you think is the Aunt Peggy in this group, because I'm not choosing. I'm copping out because I can't, because I think they both fit and would both work. Just this... <laughs> to Sarah J. Mass's characters, we have Farah, Tamlin, and Rysan from the Court of Thorns and Roses series. So I have to say that based off of reading the last book, Rysan is definitely our Eliza because he is this, you know, very dark and complex character, but he also is very lovable once you get to know him and once you see beyond that shell. Then I think that Farah is our Angelica because she is very powerful and very much determined, a very strong character as she goes through a lot in the terms of this series and struggles that she goes through throughout her life. And then Tamlin is the Aunt Peggy because we don't like Tamlin anymore. We don't talk to him anymore. We don't talk anymore. Ah. We don't talk anymore. Ah. So yeah, Tamlin is our Peggy because we're done with him. Moving on to the next set of Sarah J Mass characters, we have Selena, Dorian, and Kale from the Throne of Glass series. Dorian is hands on our Eliza. I love him. He's so precious and amazing and yay for Dorian. Then Selena has to be our Angelica because she's very fierce and very determined and very much of a warrior. And Kale is the Aunt Peggy because he's always just the awkward third wheel wherever he goes. So that fits. Now moving on to a contemporary set of characters, we have Hazel, Augustus, and Isaac from The Fault in Our Stars. This is a little bit hard between Hazel and Augustus and who is Eliza or Angelica. I have to say that I think that Augustus is the Eliza because he is portrayed to be this very smart and very intellectual character, but there are a lot of mistakes and things that he makes. And so, actually, you wonder what? Maybe that would be more of an Angelica because Angelica, you know is never really satisfied. I feel like that would maybe be like Augustus. So I'm going to say that Augustus is actually Angelica. Hazel is Eliza because she's a very warm, loving character. And you can never really hate Hazel. I feel like she's just a lovable character. And then Isaac is Aunt Peggy because he's the third wheel in the threesome. And that's kind of, you know, obvious. We have two sets of characters left. The next is Alina, Mal, and the Darkling from Lee Bardugo's The Grisha Trilogy. And for this, I have to say that Mal is the Eliza. He's a very lovable character. I feel like he can be a little bit frustrating at times, but overall I feel like mostly you're rooting for him towards the end, so I think he's definitely your endgame Eliza. And then as for Alina and the Darkling, who would be the Angelica? I think probably Alina, because she's, you know, Sancta Alina. She's, you know, like very much praised. And so I think that probably she would be the Angelica and then the Darkling would be the Aunt Peggy because he's the bit of the villain or the antagonist and just kind of like the third wheel out that nobody wants to talk about or discuss because why? So we have our final threesome which is another contemporary set of characters and for this I chose Aaron, Thomas, and Genevieve from A More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. So where I would rank these characters, this is kind of hard. Genevieve is immediately the Aunt Peggy, that's very obvious in my mind. As for who would be Eliza and Angelica, um... Maybe... Um, Thomas is Eliza, because I feel like he's a likable character. I don't know. And then Aaron is Angelica. Or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, I'm going to say it's the other way around. Thomas is Angelica, 
Aaron is Liza. Let's go with that. <laughs> I don't know. So that has been the Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy tag. I would love to see you guys do this tag with your own set of favorite fictional threesomes. And if you do make your own video, make sure you leave a link in the description. I hope you guys are having an amazing November. I'm very excited to start this month. It's going to be an amazing month for my channel in terms of videos and uploading and whatnot. And I'm very excited to bring all this new content to you guys. That being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not throw away your shot, and I will see you next time for a new video. Goodbye!